Hello, I'm Jim Malton. Today we will be exploring HyperDocs, an interactive digital document that can be used to encourage student ownership of their learning adventure. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with HyperDocs. The very first thing you're going to need to do is go to hyperdocs.co. From here, you can sign up for free, take any courses you would like, purchase any books that you would like to ex further expand on your learning journey with these HyperDocs and how you can use them effectively in your classroom. Today's objective, though, is we need to find a template. So if I go to Find, you'll notice that there are templates, samples that are already made, HyperDocs that are already created by other teachers, all of which are in their shared folders. I said earlier we're looking for a template, so let's go there. And you'll notice that there are a number of templates available for you to use and edit and do what you would like with. I'm going to go with a basic one today, just so I can show you how to take ownership. After clicking on it, sometimes it takes Google a little while to transfer the thing and open it up. And you can see here, it has opened up the document that I wanted, the Explore, Explain, Apply, HyperDoc Lesson Plan Template. I don't own it, though. There's nothing I can do with this. I can highlight, but I can't change anything. I can't edit it. I can't share it with my people, anything. If you notice up here at the top right, it says Request Edit Access, and there are over 45 people looking at this document. How do we take ownership? How do we get, get a copy of this for ourselves? Well, if you look, it says go to file, make a copy, but it leaves off something really important at the end. Let's follow along. So I'm going to click file, make a copy. For the name of the document, it will always say copy of whenever you're making a copy. I don't like that. So I like to write editable template that I can go back, do a control F search, search editable, search template in my Google Drive, and I will find exactly what I'm looking for. And I know that this document needs to be tweaked and made my own so that I can share with my children, my students. Next, the most important step, notice where it says folder. It's going to go to the HyperDocs template. Well, I didn't create that folder. We don't own that folder. If I make a copy now, it's going to disappear here into the hyperdocs.co template share drive folder. You'll never find it again. It'll be almost impossible. So we need to highlight this. And we're going to click the back arrow. What we're looking for is the screen that says select a file. So I'll click it once and it takes me to hyperdocs templates, hyperdocs materials. Still not what I'm after. Click it again. Oh, there we go. Select a file. Notice here it says my drive. I have my drive selected and I can click select. So now when I click OK to make this document, it's going to make a copy of this document into my drive on my Google Drive. Let's click OK. So now you can see it's opening up a brand new document it says editable template. This is the, what I named it. It no longer says request edit access. It says that oh, we are in editing mode and they are not 45 plus people staring at our document. From here, you own it. You can highlight, you can change anything, you can share it, you can change the title, you can change the title here, you can change the folder name, the file name, do what you want with it. It belongs to you now. It is in your drive. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Finally, be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.